Now we are going to see a demo of the Tesora DBAS platform. Tesora DBAS platform provides database as a service on OpenStack environments. The purpose of this demo is to illustrate the capabilities of Tesora DBAS platform through the use of MySQL database. We will log into the Tesora DBAS platform using the dashboard. We are logging in as the admin user. All the users will have a project in which they can interact. The project will contain the databases, the backups, the clusters, and other things that they create so that they can work on those and manage them. In this case, we will begin to create a MySQL database. We will use that database as a starting point for showing the different facets of the database as a service functionalities. To create a new instance, we click on the Launch Instance button that comes up with this wizard. You will see that you have the ability to create an instance name, the flavor, which is the kind of machine or the virtual machine you can think of where the instance is going to be running, and then how much database volume to allocate to this instance and the type of database you're going to create. Given the fact that we're using a MySQL database, we will call it MySQL instance. We will allocate of the type trove medium. If you want to increase the size of the instance later on, you can. We'll start off with 3 gig volume. We'll specify it's a MySQL database instance. One of the interesting features of the Tesora DBAS platform is that as you create instances, you can also specify users and database. We'll create a database also, my database, my user, the password. Let's launch the instance with the database. You will see that the instance has been created and it has an IP address to connect to. It shows the kind of instance and the volume allocated. If you click on the instance name, we can see the properties of the instance, when it was created, the resources. It also provides the endpoint information, so we can use this information to connect to the database. If you remember, we also created users and databases as part of the instance creation. Let's go and see those data. You can see that the username in this case is my user. It's got the database of my database. If you want to look at it, you can also look at it here. The database is there.